All right, we're on hole number one of the Christmas tournament in Tuesday's qualifying, or excuse me, Wednesday's qualifying round. It's Christmas Day. Been super busy with the holiday, so I didn't get any practice in on Monday in my main account here, and I didn't get any practice in yesterday. I did shoot my lower level account just to knock it out of the way. But uh, with these brand new holes, I have had very little practice. Hold on one second. All right, had to get on the right page here. All right, so hole number one. So what I'm going to do today is it's Wednesday. There's no uh, qualifying tomorrow. So on some of these holes, I may play it a little safe. And some of these holes, I'm definitely going to uh, still be practicing. There's several of the holes that I'm definitely going to go for. And unlike my lower level account where you can't get on if you're back out in this area, you know, you get back out in here, you can't get on. I'm I am not going to have that problem here. So I'm going for the green. I'm going to try and start off in this area right here and come straight at it with a extra mile and a five power ball. The reason I'm using a five power ball is so I don't have to do any overpower. And I'm going to put on about four to four point five top spin somewhere in that neighborhood. But I'll have to see when I get out there what it looks like. But I I. I don't want to roll off the back. That defeats the purpose. But I would like to get, um, I would like to get up on the green. So we'll have to see how it plays out. This is where practice comes in. You know, you got a little practice. You can get, uh, you have a little bit better note. So my typical mo is I shoot a bunch of rounds, post videos for them, and then I go back just like you and watch those videos so that I can see what the heck is going on. And I don't write down any of the numbers. I just kind of play it. I feel and see how it works and then I can start making adjustments from there so five power ball I bought some of these new present balls just for this tournament I shouldn't need any side spin to speak of but I did buy some of these balls just for this deal my only other I've got a bunch of five power balls but this is my other choice but I really don't need the side spin so the only thing I should need here is an extra mile and that five power ball Everything else will work. Here we go. Walking down the street. Playing some golf clash with everyone we meet. Hey, hey, we're rookies. <laughs> Gotta have some fun. That's the deal. I like it when we get brand new holes, you know. It seems like when I get brand new holes and you just go out and you're just playing and you're just having fun and just playing the deal, I, you, you tend to get really good results. And then as you play more and more on them and then you start to get your notes tighter and tighter, sometimes that works because you kind of know like elevations, but it's almost you over practice. So I'm not too upset that I didn't get a lot of practice time in and still use the opening round as a little bit of practice. Let's see if we can get up there. All right, so I'm gonna do, there's four. There's about four and a half, four and a quarter top spin. So I'm gonna write up in that neighborhood. I wanna go kind of in that area. I guess a little more side spin would be a little more helpful. I'm gonna do a full five top spin. I'm trying to give myself a little more room down here at the bottom, but I don't wanna to have to put a lot of curl on it. So it's 2.1. It's about a ring and a half. And I am going to put just a little bit of curl on it just to bring it back. Hitting it perfect. Trying to see if I can get it done without doing any overpower. Getting up there pin high. Excellent. So with five top spin, I'm looking at that. I could probably put maybe another half on there and roll up, but you can see where it drops off on the other side of that cup. And you don't want to hit that with too much speed or you'll end up in the rough over there and that defeats the purpose. But I do think that this hole right here is definitely, if you can catch that drive perfect, definitely a eagleable hole. And you can get this done the very first time I ever played this hole. I came at it with a Titan, just like my opponent's doing. I ended up in the sand right here. There was enough on it. My opponent came with a Quasar, and they were off to the left. And they were looking very specifically at where their bounces were. 
and they also hit an over a max overpower shot and they ended up a little bit to the right but it's possible to get up there and and do it with just about any ball if you can catch the right trajectory but with the five power ball i think you have a much better shot because you don't have to do any overpower I want to go through the cup. And from this distance, wind should not be a factor. Hit it one ring great to the right. But not hitting it perfect is a factor. So it's definitely possible to get up there and get that eagle. And I should have hedged my bet. When you're in those, when you're in that distance. You can hedge your bet. So if you go straight at the flagpole and you hit a perfect, it goes in the cup. If you hit a little a great to the right or a great to the left, there's a good chance that it may miss on the outside at that distance. So you can hedge your bets and you can put the the put it on with the way that the wind was blowing. I could have put it halfway between the flagpole and the edge of the left hand side of the cup. So if wind was a factor and I hit it perfect, it's still going in the cup. But if win wasn't a factor, then I opened up the door so that I could hit a perfect or a great to the right, and it would still go in the cup. Nice shot. Nice shot, man. All right, that was hole number one. That was a great missed opportunity right there. Good luck in the tournament. Great missed opportunity. But that's definitely the right setup for that hole. So, all right. That was hole number one of the 2019 Christmas tournament. Wednesday's qualifying round of the rookie division. Thanks for watching.